Hello, kids. I'm Kiki. I'm going to go play with Quacky. Do you want to come with me? Okay, then let's go. Magic Cube, go! <laughs> the destination is confirmed. <laughs> the world is fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Kiki, you're here! Look! Here is my new plane! Wow, what a cool plane! Kiki, is my new plane big? We don't know for sure. Size is to be compared. Compare? What does that mean? I will tell you the answer. Kids, which is bigger? A toy airplane or a building block? Yes! If the plane is compared to the toy robot, which is bigger? Hmm. Correct! See? The same plane, when it compared with the building block, the plane is larger. But when it compared with the robot, the plane is smaller. So the size is to be compared. So that's how it is! Quacky, we've just learned what size is. So let's go put the blocks together. Sure. First, we need a big block. Outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> I am the Oviraptor. I have a lot of feathers on my body. The Oviraptor is so beautiful. Let's put one more together. First, we need a big block. Then we need a small block. I am Triceratops. I have three horns on my head. Triceratops is so cool. <laughs> Let's put together another Tyrannosaurus Rex. First, we need a big block. This block is too small. Then we need a small block. This block is too big. Then we need a small block. This block is too big. I am Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow! Tyrannosaurus Rex is awesome! Quacky, do you know which one of these three dinosaurs is the biggest? Biggest? What does this mean? Let's take a look together. I am the biggest of the three dinosaurs. I am not the biggest or the smallest of the three dinosaurs. I'm the smallest of the three dinosaurs. Wow! I got it! Tyrannosaurus Rex is the largest. Oviraptor is the smallest. That's right! The dinosaurs are hungry. Let's feed them. I want to eat the smallest grass. I want to eat the biggest grass. <laughs> I want to eat the biggest meat. <laughs> the dinosaurs are full. They are so happy. What do we play next? Um, I want to play with a small train. Let's put the train together first. Wow! Locomotive! One carriage. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Little choo-choo train! Some little people have come. 
Do you think there are more little people or more carriages? How do we know it? I don't know. First, let's put all the little people on the train. One little person in one carriage. There are no more little people, but some of the carriages are still empty. So there must be more carriages than little people. I got it! There are more carriages than little people, so there are fewer little people than carriages. That's right! There are a few empty carriages, so let's find some little people to fill the whole train. Go! Let's put the little people on the train. Yeah! One carriage for one little person. This is a one-to-one -one relationship. Each carriage has one little person. So there are as many little people as there are carriages. I got it! Let's do a test. These blocks, are there more red blocks or blue blocks? Hmm. You see, the blocks are very messy. We don't know which one has more. We can arrange the blocks neatly and then match them one by one to see which one has more. How to arrange it? We can put the red blocks on top and the blue blocks on the bottom so that the top and bottom are aligned. Just like this. Can you help to arrange the rest of the blocks? That's right. Yeah. Look at this column. There is a red block and a blue block. They pull small hands together. This is a one-to-one -one relationship. Let's look at the column after column. Their little hands are pulled up. The last red block left is so poor. There is no blue block to hold its hands. Yes. This is the last red block left. So the red blocks are one more than the blue blocks. I got it. So the blue blocks are one less than the red blocks. <laughs> you are right. Practice. Learn with Quacky. Hello, kids. I'm Kiki, and I love to think. I'm Quacky the Quacking Duckling. Quack? There's a phone call. Magic Cube, go! Wow! <laughs> Kiki, all the fruits in my farm were stolen. What should I do? Don't worry, we will help you. Go! The world is so interesting. Let's go explore the mystery. <laughs> Max, did you see the one who stole your fruits? Yes, I saw he had a big mouth. He ate all my fruits in one bite. A big mouth? Could it be Big Mouth? Big Mouth? What is it? Is its mouth bigger than mine? <laughs> I will tell you the answer. This is Big Mouth. He is greedy and always wants more. For example, if there are two piles of apples here, his mouth will move towards the pile with more apples. Say it with me. Big Mouth, open wide towards the bigger pile. I got it. His mouth is facing the set with more fruits. That's right. Let's do a test. There are two sets of fruits. Which set will the mouth move towards? <laughs> That's correct! Quack, quack! I've learned it! So how do we find Big Mouth? Let me think about it. Look! 
These are the leftover fruit cores from Big Mouth. Follow the cores and we will find him. Then we can find Big Mouth by following the fruit cores. We have to walk from here to there. Kids, can you connect the cores and help Quacky and me find Big Mouth? Great job! Yeah! What? There are two ways! Which way should we go? Big Mouth is very greedy and always wants more. So he must have taken the way with more fruit cores. Which side has more fruit cores? Look, this side only has one core, but that side has six cores. Let's move the mouth towards the side with more fruits. I got it! Big Mouth is going this way! That's right! Hey! There are two ways in front of us again! Let's do a test. Which side has more fruits? Where should the mouth face? That's correct! That's right! Compare and see which way Big Mouth is going. That's correct! That's right! What's that sound? Is that Big Mouth? Let's go over there and have a look. It's baby Big Mouth! They must be hungry! Let's feed them some fruits! Let's do a test! There are two sets of fruits here! Which set does baby Big Mouth want? I got it! It must be the set with more! What? It's such a mess! I don't know which set has more! <laughs> I will tell you the answer. If we find it hard to tell which set has more, we can count. Let's count how many apples there are on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. Let's write the number five on this side. Let's count how many mangoes there are. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six mangoes. Let's write the number six on this side. Which is more, five apples or six mangoes? I got it! Six is one more than five. So baby Big Mouth wants to eat six mangoes. You are so smart. Quack, quack. I've learned it. There are two sets of fruits. Which side should the mouth face? That's correct! Yeah! No, it's wrong. Let's count them together. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, seven. There are seven fruits on this side. Then count one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six fruits on this side. Which is more, six or seven? I got it. Seven is one more than six. That's why the mouth is facing this way. That's right. <laughs> That's correct! Yeah! Huh? 
who are you? Big Mouth, did you steal Max's fruits? I was too hungry, I couldn't help it. Super Duck said that you can't take other people's things. I know I did wrong. I'll go back with you and apologize to Max. Max, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stolen your fruits. It takes courage to admit your mistake. I forgive you. To make it up to you, I'll help you grow fruits. Okay, I'll share the fruits with you when they are ripe. Wow, really? Practice.